Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Let us see some mathematical problem for college entrance examinations. I hope it's going to be helpful, especially for those who are preparing themselves for the college. So it will be a good experience and we will see systematic approach for every question. So this is going to be the first video. Subscribe and follow me. You'll get more information. First, the first question here, it is a complex number. It says, find the value, i minus 1, the whole, the power of 8. So, multiplying the given expression, 8 times its time taking. So, this kind of complex number will be done by simplifying using polar form. So, we need to change the given complex number into polar form. Once it's changed into polar form, it has its own process. Let us see, step by step. First of all here, the first thing what you need to understand here, a given complex number will be written, z is equal to x plus yi. The x is the real part and the y is the imaginary part. So if this complex number has an exponent n, that means the given one uh, will be have an exponent n. So multiplying the given complex number n times, it will, it will be time taking. But instead, we have to write this complex number in polar form. The polar form of a given complex number is r in bracket cosine of theta plus i sine theta. So we will make the power of n. The exponent n will be the exponent for r. But those, this exponent n, it is going to be... Uh, the coefficient for the theta it will multiply the theta that is a rule remember previously if you don't get back and revise that part therefore our complex number z it was i minus one this time we need to remember what is r and how, what is theta how to get it the r means the modulus r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. We need to square each of them and put in the square. And the theta can be found tan inverse of the tan inverse of y over x. So for our complex number, let us find the r and the theta step by step first. The complex number what's given to us here, it is i minus 1. That means Here, uh, the x will be the real part. The real part here, it is x, which is negative 1. As you see, the real part is here without i. And the imaginary part, the y, is equal to, again, 1, the coefficient of i. Therefore, let us find the r. The r will be the square of each in the square root. So it means negative 1 square plus 1 square will be 2. That is r. So r the power of 8 means, r the power of 8 means, it is the same as radical 2 to the power of 8. You can check it, it's going to be 16. We have got r the power of 8. Then the theta, let's find the theta. The theta will be tan inverse of, we say it already, tan inverse of y over x. The y is 1 and the x is negative 1. So 1 over negative 1 will be negative 1. So tan inverse of, tan inverse of negative 1 means the angle is going to be 135. How it comes? The quadrant. The first order is negative, the second order is positive. So it will be in the second quadrant. And tan inverse of any angle, tan inverse of 1 means it's 45 degree, but it's in the second quadrant. So 135. So we need to multiply the theta by n. n times theta means the n is 8. 8 multiplied with 135. We can multiply and check it. 1080. The reference angle for this theta is 0 degree. So that now we can write the given complex number in polar form. We said already in the previous uh, page we already wrote it. The formula here it is. Let us highlight it. Here it, here it is. So our r the power of n, we got it 16. And n theta, it is already uh, 0 degree because the reference angle. It is 1080, but it's 0 degree. So let us write it together, combined form. When you write combined form, 
uh, it's going to be 16 then in bracket cosine of 0 plus i sine 0 but remember sine 0 is 0 and cosine 0 is 1 so the i is already eliminated there is no imaginary part left so what left just 16 left 16 times 1 will be 16 so the answer is going to be a second question second question here it is statistics it says a study has been performed on the weight of the students in elementary school and as you see the data what's asked what is the measurement central tendency remember central tendency are the measure of central tendency are mean median and mode so when you see the choice there is a standard deviation here it is out of our domain so we can cancel this one we can ignore so we do have now three choices now when you try to observe the data kind finding the mean it's time taking so we cannot add all this number and divide by the total number instead try to observe the number of elements and how many numbers are repeated most of the data as you see it is in 20s from those in 20s 26 is highly repeated that is a mode so this data or this number can be the representative data the central tendency means mean median mode so which data can represent the whole like as a representative data we can take the mode the mode will be more suitable for this data okay the next question here it is geometry it says what is the value of angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 7 first of all where is 1 1 is here and 2 is here but these two angles are congruent or equal because they are vertically opposite angles when two lines cross each other vertically opposite angles necessarily are equal and the other thing angle 2 is congruent to angle 6 here so i can write 2 here and i can write 1 here because 2 and 1 are equal already so when we see 1 plus 2 plus 3 7 they are coming here together they are forming one full circle one full circle or one complete circle is going to be 360 degree so the answer will be 360 degree which is d okay let us continue the next question the next question here it says a die uh, if you throw two dice the plural form of die is two dice two dice one time what is the probability it producing two numbers with the same eight when you throw two two dice the outcome might be one one the first outcome one in the second or so one or one two or one three or one four or one five or one six you know a die has six face a die is it's a kind of cube it has six faces. In each face, numbers are written. So when you throw a die, the topper face will be red. And the topper number might be, it might be or one or two or three, six chances we have. But when you throw two dice, the top both must be one. It, it might be one. And the first one, the second two, maybe. The first one, the second three, it might be. So in this manner, when you move, the total number of possibility will be 36 chance because 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, as we said, it might be 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, or 2, 6. In general, one die has six face, so six chance it has, and the other die also six chance, so six face or six chance, so totally six times six will be 36. This is the sample space, the total sample space is 36. But when you throw two dice, what is the probability to get some 8? Those numbers might be 4, 4, okay, the outcome, or 5, 3, because 5 plus 3 is 8, or 3, 5, we can exchange the place also, and 6, 2, and 2, 6. Now, if you see this ordered pair, the sum will give us 8, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 3, or 3 plus 5, or 6 plus 2, and 2 plus 6. All of them, they will give us 8. These are the only possibilities that we have to give us some eight so how many we have got one two three four five so five out of the total the total sample space is already 36 to say so that what is the probability of it producing two numbers with some eight this is the answer will be a as you say as you see here the next question what is the probability of 
a family to give birth to a boy in three times in row. In the first chance, in the first chance, they do have one over two chance getting a boy or a girl. In the second chance also, it's still one over two chance being a boy or a, a girl three times in a row. So in the third time, so, so still it will, ha it will be one over two chance. When you multiply, it's going to be one over eight. So the probability to be a boy in third row, in three row, it's going to be one over eight. So the answer will be C. Okay, let us see the next question. Here, it says find the area of a triangle. We are going to find the area of the triangle, but what's given? Base and height or any other information? The information what's given here is ordered pair. The A has its own ordered pair, the B also, and the C also. So we can allocate the first order of the A, we can say it AX, and the second one AY. And in case of B, the first order we can say it BX, and then BY. For C, this one we can say it CX, then CY. First of all, we have to first of all we have to allocate in this way next we have to state the rule we have to state the formula what does the formula says in case of triangle if the three vertices are given with the ordered pair for example if the first one here ax ay which is given to us already zero zero and the second one b which is bx by already given to us uh, negative 2 comma 8 and the third one C let us say it's given to us the third coordinate C X C Y given to us the third one if it is C X and C Y which is already given to us the C X is 4 12 then the formula to find the area the area of the triangle will be found by the formula the absolute value of A X in bracket by minus cy close the bracket okay to use the space properly we need to rub this part formula is somehow longer then plus bx in bracket cy minus ay again plus cx in bracket ay minus by then the whole over 2 the whole over 2 in absolute value so we have to do this one then when we see the the ax the ax means the zero here it is so zero times everything this will be zero we can ignore this part let's go to the, the next one bx is given to us negative 2 so we can write negative 2 in bracket what is cy minus ay the cy here it is 12 and the ay is 0 so 12 minus 0 will be 12 then plus cx uh, the cx is the first order here it is 4 4 times ay it is 0 0 minus the by is 8 so we have to write negative 8 0 minus 8 is negative 8 then the whole over 2 in absolute value this is going to be in absolute value is still negative 24 and negative 32 negative 24 minus 32 then in absolute value the whole over 2 when you make minus this is going to be negative 56 negative 56 over 2 but still in absolute value when you divide it will be negative 28 but from the absolute value it will be 28 so the area of the triangle will be 28 so what matters here the formula the formula is somehow longer but we need to remember the formula this is coordinate geometry the last question here it is trigonometric question uh, logarithm logarithmic function but it is not equation simply expression one expression there is no equal sign so we are asked to find the value means just to simplify but all of the logarithm they do have the same base here the base is 5 here also the base 5 here also the base 5 but the, the, the third logarithm it has coefficient number there is a coefficient number here when there is a coefficient k times logarithm of a to the base b if we have this k can be raised and it become an exponent for this one for the upper part for the functional value so it's going to be a the power of k so first let us write it it will be logarithm of x plus one plus logarithm of 
x logarithm of x logarithm of x let's write it the next one then minus logarithm of uh, 1 plus x and x plus 1 the same x plus 1 the whole the power of we can write it okay first let us let us rub this part what uh, somehow makes it here we need to rub this one and this part also and then uh, the whole the power of 2 to the base 5 all of the logarithm are in the same base all of them are in the same bit then the next step we need to write all of them in one logarithm logarithm of plus means we will multiply x plus 1 will be multiplied with the x because we will take one base then it's going to be x times x plus 1 I multiplied the 2 because here it's plus then minus means I will divide it the whole over x plus 1 square but the, the base is still it's 5 for all of them the base is a 5 therefore x plus 1 cancel with here and what left we have left logarithm of x over x plus 1 the whole to the base 5 so the answer is found in D so this is a way how to solve some of the questions in college entrance examination we are going to continue solving this kind of question. This will be the first video. So please stay tuned and subscribe and follow me. You'll have more information. Thank you for listening.